Hi, I hope you guys are doing good. So in this quick video, I'm going to show you how you could possibly add a custom section here on your theme customizer. So if you have many fonts that you want to apply in the store, this is the best solution. Like you want to have different fonts for different elements. So this is the best approach instead of applying different CSS in different elements. So yeah. To first start off is we're going to go to our files and you're going to upload the font files that you wanted to have. So in my case, I uploaded mine and we're going to go to the theme files. So edit code and pretty much the, the instruction in this video is also linked here on my medium blog so everything will be clear and there'll be no confusion so we're just gonna follow this instruction so we'll create a section so sections add a new section and we'll name it my custom fonts okay so it's make sure it's in liquid file click done then copy and paste the code here on the blog copy and paste click save then we're gonna check our theme customizer if it is already applied oh we forgot to link it on the home page just like in the instruction we need to include the section here so we're going to go to the theme, then find the body tag. So on here, we'll paste it. Click save and it should appear now here on our customizer. There we go. So in here you could now specify what element you want a font to be applied. But before that we should first add the font file that we just uploaded. So you'll go here add your font, click font. Then you're gonna go add your custom font name. In my case, it says macaroni. And basically, you're just gonna play around in here the font weight and the font style. So, in here in the custom font URL, basically, this is the font file that you previously uploaded. So, we're gonna go to our files now and basically copy the link and paste it here there we go so you can now specify which um, element you want the font to be applied so we only want in h1 h4 h5 so as you can see now it only applies to the ones that is in check so yeah, uh, basically that's how you create your custom font section and pretty much this is applicable to almost all of the teams based on my experience. But yeah, if you have any questions, just feel free to reach out and have a great day.